Okay, part two of June 2nd, Breathing Pattern Disorder Workshop. Ta-da! So in the sideline position, we are able to access a lot of this lateral soft tissue that's involved in uh, stabilizing the torso. We talked about using decompression with that, the suction cups. Then in this position, we are able to apply a compressive force against the ribs that mobilizes them in a direction that isn't commonly done. So that will get a series of muscles that feed into upper chest breathing or over breathing. From the inside out, you're getting this inner thoracic thingy. You're getting the muscles in between the ribs or the intercostals. You're going to get something that is more about stabilizing the scapula. It's a big muscle called anterior serratus. But anything that attaches to the ribs becomes part of uh, an overbreathing dysfunction. You can get to a big muscle that starts at the base of the iliac crest here in the sacrum comes all the way up into the arm called latissimus dorsi. You can get to the muscles that come across and work the arm called pectoralis major. And it's all about how you position. So if I have this person leaning forward a little bit and I'm working here, I'm on the muscle that's coming from the back, the latissimus dorsi. If I have them roll back towards me a little bit, and I press through here. Now I'm working on that anterior serratus. If I have them roll just a little bit more, change where I'm coming from, now I'm on pec major. You just have to navigate where their arm and scapula is. So it doesn't look very fancy. It looks like this. It's just the difference between that little bit of a movement right there on what angle I am able to access the muscle structure on. The movement is going to happen either from the arm or the hip. I can tell them slide this, slide this ankle. Slide. Yeah, pull towards okay. you. <laughs> All right. Or I'll tell them, kick kick this top leg, kick it out towards the wall. Right there. Pull it all the way towards you. That's going to pull the pelvis down and going to separate it from the rib. Even just taking the leg off the bolster and letting it come we'll tip down. the pelvis down. You have to stabilize and hold them there. And other things too, where extra bolsters to help hold them in position. Um, if draping is a concern, the other hand can come over and hold the sheets against their chest. So you can make stay in contact for the whole side of the thorax. Or worst case scenario, find a way to uh, adapt this to over the sheet. You can't find a way to do that if draping Almost is Almost really everything you can do on the skin, you can do over loose type of clothing. But there are special receptors in the skin in superficial fascia that respond only to skin-to-skin -skin contact, interestingly. Uh, this is the character that just won the Nobel Prize for identifying the touch receptors. And they're tactile C receptors and they, you've got you to touch their skin in order for them to activate. So interesting on all of that. Let me pause again. So we're going to stop.